Let's build a Colorado 4x4 van out here at van headquarters today. We just had a big spring storm with about five inches of snow and it was cold in the in the teens. So that's nice for the first day of spring. I thought I'd give you an update though. I got my co-pilot with me here. There's Sam. Say hi. You're in the video. Most of what I've gotten done on the truck has been the electric part and Here's what I've got done on the inside. We got the starting from the top. We got the stereo installed. There's room over here behind here for my VHF radio. And there's room for a couple of other things that I have planned for the future. Um, all the switches are hooked up. I'll show you some nighttime views of those, but we've got the upper LED light bar, which is bright enough to see it flashing there. We have our inside light right here which puts out good light on the cabin side speakers on each side backup camera and monitor are working even a little microphone for uh, the Bluetooth phone option on the stereo which I doubt I'll ever use subwoofers under here and then all the exterior lights are wired in and hooked up uh, I, like I said, I'll show you at the end of the video some outside pictures that Sam and I got the other night when we were out here. Very bright, and uh, it's going to come in really, really handy when we're out in the middle of nowhere trying to find a spot if we come in late. We made up. We at the land. We're in the big truck. We in the big truck. In here, so we have a lot more light in the dash in the seating area here. Here's what the uh, lights look like at night. Just the running lights. And when they turn on, you get a blue light up here. Um, so I'm gonna show you some of the outside lights. Right now we've got just the uh, driving lights and the uh, regular headlights on. This is the overhead light. These are our rear lights. You might be able to see back there, we got a rear light on. These are our side lights. So the driving lights we already had down below here and those are pretty bright. Now you add the uh, light bar up there and you get some really good vision out here. So much so I have to be careful not to point it over this way. I might get those people upset in their houses. And then we have the side lights, which are more of a spot than I'd like, but at least it tells you what's next to you. And then I have to see what's wrong with this one rear light, but they're both something on my connection must have come loose. I have to take it apart and see, but we'll have one, two of those out the back. Give us a good view out behind us. another view out the side and then like I said we have the interior light there's my co-pilot in there <laughs> I was starting to rain and snow a little bit but we're gonna drive around here a little bit and drive around here a little bit get an idea how things are working We got an Eberspacher D5W uh, preheater for the motor. This will uh, warm up the engine to operating temps before we start it, cut down on the smoke and whatnot. And after much debate, I'm gonna put it here. This wood is just mocked up. I'm gonna have a piece of aluminum that'll match that and replace this. But I'm gonna put it here, even though it's in an area where things technically could hit it and stuff like that, but there's no room there's no room where I could get to it in here and still uh, do any maintenance on it so I don't want it in there once the camper's on you can't get in there there's no room under the hood that isn't on the actual frame rail of the truck which would put it lower than it is here this is mounted on the subframe which raises it up you can see the truck frame back here so it's up higher than it would be under there 
I think with the box, and I'll seal up the box pretty good, it'll be protected enough there. Um, one, well, a friend also suggested mounting it under this driver's seat, but uh, it said right in the instructions, do not mount it inside the passenger cabin. So with that in mind, I think we're just gonna put it here. Hey, you see where the intake is. We have this plastic fitting that goes down. This box here is the air filter housing. Goes up to an in, uh, intake up here. We're gonna get rid of all of that and probably snorkel it. And I'll show you I'm working on that. So this is the early stages of working on this. This flexible pipe I'm not gonna use, um, but there's a K&N filter aluminum pipes and then a pre intake that um, gets a lot of the big dust out of it up there but this would have to mount to the camper once it's mounted but uh, this is the early stages of thinking about that and once we do it'll bring a lot more airflow in and it'll free up a lot of space and take a lot of weight off the truck that we don't need um, so that's something else we're working on right now with all the quarantine shut down my co-pilot here and i have been doing a lot of driving around town and goofing around in it because all her activities are canceled and so are mine so we've been driving around in the truck lately but uh hopefully we'll have some more improvements here for you soon and some big ones that are coming up as far as getting this thing back together that's all from colorado until next time <laughs>